tattoos let's talk about them so do you have any tattoos do you never want to get a tattoo are you considering your very first tattoo let's talk about all of that including my own tattoo tour that i will provide for you guys today when i got them why i got them do i regret any of them and will i get more so as I'm giving you guys a tour of each of my tattoos, I will be applying the Papatui tattoo oil butter to each of them and showing you guys how this works and if it works. How does that sound? So let's get into it. Also, support your people, no matter how big and famous they are. Support them. It's a Samoan-owned brand. I am half Samoan. And this is owned by my uncle, The Rock. He doesn't know he's my uncle, but... I'm pretty sure throughout the lineage and the family tree, I'm on there somewhere, somehow. <laughs> okay, so the very first tattoo I got is right here. This is my initials that I got about 20 years ago in Vegas. My brother and I ended up getting matching tattoos. And originally, I wanted to get it at the Tattoo Inc., shop vegas ink not tattoo ink lol if you remember back in the day there was a show called tattoo ink it was called miami ink not tattoo ink <laughs> and they had a shop in vegas and i was like oh i'm gonna go and get it done there my first tattoo ever i show up to the shop i think it was at the palms hotel i asked for a quote thankfully they gave me a quote and it was something along the lines of like six hundred dollars six hundred dollars just for this little one by one inch tattoo of my initials so six hundred dollars i'm about 20 years old at this time and i'm like should i do it you know reckless me financially reckless me look at that and it says to apply liberally but this is my oldest tattoo right here and she's still holding up but anyway my, my brother and i were like no that's too much money so let's just keep driving and luckily his friend that lived out there was able to drive us around the strip just to see what was out there and we ended up finding something we ended up finding a shop off the strip we get there he's like yeah i'm down i could do it for like 60 bucks and i was like 60 I just got quoted like five, six hundred dollars. And he's like, yeah, that's what happens when you get a tattoo on the strip. So for anyone considering getting a tattoo in Las Vegas, do not get it on the strip unless you want to pay 20 times more than what you could be paying off of the strip. If you just be patient, ask around, shop around, you'll get the right deal. This was my first tattoo, 60 bucks. He was super cool, gun in his holster cigarette in his mouth it was amazing it, it was perfect so we both got him done and after that i was hooked i was hooked i was like when am i gonna get the next one I, i'm ready i'm ready and i did just that maybe about a year later <laughs> and that's this tattoo right here on my right wrist this is my left wrist this is my right wrist this tattoo is actually covering up a surgery scar right here I have a metal plate and screws in my right wrist from a dumb injury when I was younger. We're not going to talk about it, but ultimately it led to me getting surgery. And I always would look at the scar. It was way worse. Like I had scar tissue and the, the line is sticking out. And I looked at it and I was like, I just don't want to think about this part of my life over and over again. So let me cover it up. About a year after I got this one, I got this one with my coworker. It was a Thursday. Look at that. Look at how, like it looks brand new. I haven't seen this tattoo this bright in forever. And that's all me, cause I don't maintain my tattoos. I just use regular lotion throughout my whole body when in actuality I should be using more oils. But now I have the Papatui that I will always be using on my tattoos, but that looks really good. So let's talk about this particular tattoo. It is a cross with angel wings across it. And I told you guys I would talk about tattoos that I regret. 
and this is one of them. This is <laughs> a tattoo I regret, not wholeheartedly, but I would say about 40, 60, like 40% regret, 60%. I like it. I don't love it, but I like it. And the reason for that, and again, if you are someone considering getting a tattoo, this is the part where you may want to take notes. But I got this done <laughs> at a shop in Daly City. I won't name them, but if you know where Daly City is, you know there aren't that many shops. And I had ideas and inspiration. The inspiration, there's two inspirations behind this one tattoo. The first inspiration uh, was my grandpa. He passed away when I was in high school and he had this tattoo on his forearm right here that was um, kind of like the burning cross that like they always take pictures of Jesus in, but it had like flames. Like honestly, I wish I had a picture of it because that would have been easier to just show the guy a picture of what I wanted and just say, hey, copy that same tattoo. But I didn't. So I kind of was just like remixing it to my flavor and I wanted to also honor him with this tattoo. So that hence the angel wings. But the cross, the cross was supposed to look like the cross on Tupac's back. And when you look at this, it is almost similar to that cross, but it's not. And the reason for that is because when I sat in that chair, I showed him a couple pictures, and this is before social media, everything. So you're just kind of pulling whatever the internet had to offer at the time. So I say, I want a cross and angel wings. This is what I have. And the tattoo artist, red flag was like well i have something different in mind how about this and i got intimidated and again i'm so young i was probably like 22 at this point second tattoo this one was so easy and i also had my brother and his friend there to kind of be my bodyguards <laughs> this time i'm going with my coworker. her and i are just like we're gonna get tattoos on our wrists and he says oh i have a different idea uh let me show you and this was bigger when he did it. And I was like, nah, let's do smaller. And again, abiding by my corporate rules, I was like, oh, just make sure it's low enough to wear. Uh, it doesn't show if I'm wearing a long sleeve shirt, which I regret because if I were to redo these tattoos, I'd move them up just a tad bit. So when I'm in his chair, he's like, no, I have some other ideas, let me show you. So I'm thinking, well, I don't want to disrespect the artist because as an artist myself, I get that like creative angle that he was coming from, but because I didn't have much experience with tattoos, in that moment, I was really nervous and didn't really know how to advocate for myself or say, no, this is actually what I want, I don't want that. So he ended up drawing this cross and immediately I was just like, no. But I went through with it anyway, and to be honest, this is not a tattoo that I favor. I consider getting it redone or touched up or something, but it's so bold and big. I can't imagine what I would get over it or around it to enhance it to where I'm not like ruining it. But I guess you can't ruin something you don't really like, right? <laughs> but. Again, this is this tattoo is maybe 15 years old. So even though I have I got it a long time ago and I didn't like it, I still haven't done anything to fix it because tattoos are a big commitment. And I think one day I will do something with it, but right now it's just chilling. And I think I might get like another bracelet, but we'll talk about that when we get to my final tattoo. The next tattoo I got was not supposed to happen. It was an idea, it was just a picture I carried around, and again, an idea that I was just kind of debating on getting. But once again, I found myself in Vegas, and I was with a couple of friends at the time that were planning on getting tattoos. Like, their mission and goal was to get a tattoo. They were supposed to get matching tattoos, and... The first person that got it, she was on the table, she got it. My other friend at the time that was supposed to get the matching tattoo ended up backing out and saying, no, I don't want to get it. She had no tattoos on her body. 
So she ended up backing out. That should have been a... My eyes started twitching because this is the same friend I was talking about. Um, anyway. <laughs> I just learned of a new red flag, but... They were supposed to get matching tattoos. And at the last minute, she backed out because... I don't know she just didn't want to get a matching tattoo with this person or she didn't want this to be her first tattoo but she ended up backing out so the artist who i introduced them to the johnny vegas the person that did this tattoo at his shop was like well i have some time did you want to get a tattoo or did you you know was there an idea you were thinking of and i was like there is but i know you don't do flowers so i'm just curious to know if you know what you think about this so I showed him this photo on the internet and I was like, well, I want this fire lily because, you know, one, my name is Lily. I'm named after my auntie Lily, who also passed away when I was um, in high school in the year 2000. So I want to honor her. But I also want it kind of like a stamp of like, you know, me, like when I show up, it's, it's there, it's subtle, but also bold. And but I know you don't do flowers, so it's cool if, if you say no. He goes, well, there's a first time for everything. And I love that. Like that was the same excitement I had with this one, but not with this one. So when he was open to doing it, he goes, if you're down, I'm down. This will be my first flower ever. So let me know what you think. So I sat with it. And again, I was not planning on getting a tattoo, but he kind of convinced me. I was in the, I was feeling the vibes and he even gave me an excellent quote excellent excellent quote this was only two hundred dollars this was about i think 160 and don't forget to tip your artist so let's not forget about that but and anyway so the two people that were supposed to get tattoos only one of them got a tattoo so if you're planning on getting tattoos with friends make sure everyone is a hundred percent in because that will just really spoil the whole experience when one person backs out. So in my opinion, if you're gonna get a group tattoo and one person backs out, I don't think anyone should get a tattoo, period. And this is, and there, I would have seven tattoos if that were the case. But because the, the two groups of friends that I was with, someone ended up backing out or had to leave early because tattoos take a long time. Let's not forget about that. They take a very long time. When, once one person was out, we all were out because we, we, we understood the importance of this exper experience as well as this marker of this moment, this mark of this moment and, and this stamp, this permanent stamp to represent this second, this moment in time for all of us for the rest of our lives. We ended up just walking away because it was like, well, it's either too expensive, if no one agrees on the price, let's gracefully walk away. No regrets. And that's exactly what happened. So again, if you are planning on getting a group tattoo or a friend tattoo, make sure your friends are 100% in. But if also, if you're okay with them bowing out and you're still gung-ho about it, go for it. All right, so that was, we got one, two, and three tattoos. The next one I have is here, it says Nana, N-A-N-A, -A, and that is for my Nana. I don't know if you've noticed a theme with my tattoos, but there's a lot of meaning and homage to people I love with all of my heart and miss with all of my heart. But this is Nana, this is her signature, and the reason I got it here was because this is the most painful part of your body that you can get a tattoo. And I figured everything she sacrificed and achieved and endured in her life, this was the closest way I could pay my respects, honor her, and endure just a percentage of that pain in her honor. So this is her signature that she put on a birthday card for me a long time ago. And that's one thing she was great about is always getting me or all of us birthday cards or she would write letters, which I love because our, my love language is words of affirmation. So for her to always do that, I, ke I kept everything. I have all of her letters, all of her cards from as far back as I could possibly keep them. 
So immediately I was like, you know what? I want to get this tattoo right away. I want to make sure the artist understands the importance of this tattoo. I don't want to just go to anyone. I don't want to just walk into any old shop. I want to get it to where we're both in alignment because I have my regrets, right? And I did. I found an artist in Pittsburgh. I'll put the name of the tattoo shop right here in her name because she was so awesome. She understood it. She got it. You know, she understood the emotion behind it. And we went through several different placements because that's the other thing. Like you want to make sure your tattoos are placed correctly. So when the, you put your arm out, is it even? Is it sliding down? You know, you could you have the power to again advocate for yourself and say no can we try a different position so and take your time if they start rushing you then just say i'm out of here you might lose a deposit but if they're just not working out you gotta go but this tattoo in particular next to my initials this one's my ultimate favorite and it did hurt a lot <laughs> but this one i mean it didn't take that long and Let me flex a little bit because, you know, I can't be out here all flabby with that extra shine. But that looks good. Oh. So, a lot of, yeah. So, this tattoo took about an hour. This took maybe 20 minutes. I think this one took an hour. Hour or two hours, I forget, but... This one obviously was quick. So again, if you're considering getting a tattoo, especially to memorialize someone or to honor someone, remember someone, take your time because this is not just gonna live on your body forever, but this is something that you're gonna look at to re remind you of that person and their impact on your life. So if you didn't stand up for yourself in that process, I would hate for that to just be carried on with regret or even more pain. So, but it's a process. It's a process because <laughs> that brings me to my final big tattoo that I have right now. And I'll let you guys know right now, will I be getting more tattoos? Yes, 100% yes. They're just expensive. They're expensive. It takes a lot of time to find the right artist to get appointments and I was very, very, very lucky to have gotten an appointment with my artist that did this job. Um, shout out to him. Look at my tattoo. Oh my God. This Papa Tui stuff. I, it's so smooth and buttery. <sighs> so shout out to Yams. He did this tattoo out in San Jose and it was kind of a collaboration but again we'll talk about advocating for ourselves but he's an artist that is booked months out in advance and when it comes to finding the right tattoo artist you have to be patient and be willing to spend money okay so my brother was actually again my family we ha we are a family of tattoos we head to toe all of us have a bunch of tattoos and it's amazing i love it truly so this particular tattoo i wasn't planning on getting it was during the pandemic i was in the car waiting for my brother while he was getting his tattoo which took maybe six eight hours it was like an all-day event i remember just sitting in the car waiting patiently and i ended up going in the shop when he was done and the artist was like do you want a tattoo and I know he didn't mean on the spot, but he was like, if you want one, I'll put you on my books. And I was like, I don't know. I don't know. When I want something, I don't know why it's so hard for me to just say yes and seem eager about it right away when it's like, hell yeah, I want one. But I didn't want to seem desperate or too eager. It's silly, right? But my brother was like, well, if you don't book it, you're not going to get one for another year. And I was like, okay say less say less uh let's get on the books <laughs> so this tattoo ended up happening within a month or so so i didn't have to wait that long he gave me a really good deal i'm not going to talk about the price because i want to respect his business but ultimately this is a collaboration i wanted just a straight around band a samoan band and 
the only thing I do kind of regret about this, but I love my tattoo. Don't get me wrong. I love it. It turned out way better than I even imagined. But he was like, oh, I'm tired of doing bands. Is it possible that, you know, I could do something else for you? I'll draw it up. So that was where the collaboration came into play. Whereas, in, whereas like this one, I just like let him design it and I never gave any input. With this one, I gave input. I was like, how about this? How about that? And we ended up coming up with this band around my arm. And this is one I probably get the most compliments on because it's exposed, it's out, it's bold, it's big. It represents my culture and everything about it is just, perfection to me I love doing this I love sitting down I love pointing <laughs> but those are my tattoos there are a few more that I have in mind that have been on my list for years and years and years but again it just takes time money a lot of money tattoos are not cheap if you have a friend that does tattoos and is willing to hook you up be faithful to them truly it's like finding a hairstylist or a barber be committed to them I know people that get tattoos in every country that they visit. So make it fun. Like make it fun for yourself, enjoyable. I know when you're doing like memory pieces and like and that and whatnot, it can be very emotional as well. Allow yourself to feel those feelings as as you're going through it. The cool thing about getting my tattoos is I was able to link up with people that were really nice, open to talking, you know, were patient if I was in pain. Oh, this part hurts so bad. This chunk of the tattoo right here, because it wasn't, it's not exposed to the sun as much, so it's very tender and raw, but this whole section was the most painful of it all. And there was a point in the middle of this tattoo where I was about to say, mm, I don't think I need a band around my entire arm. I think we could just be like, like a bracelet, like that I could just remove. <laughs> I seriously was like, oh my God, this is the worst pain I've ever felt in my life. At least with this one, it hurt really bad, but it was small and quick. With this one, he's just digging and digging and digging. Shapes, shades, lines, patterns. <sighs> but again, no regrets. I love it. If you are planning on getting tattoos, be ready to do your due diligence, find the right artist, make sure that they, you, show, you see a sample of their work, their portfolio, look on their Instagram, their Facebook, their TikTok, wherever they have it online, just do your due diligence and shop around. Save a lot of money. You're gonna need a deposit. They may ask for full payment up front. They may take cash, credit, debit, verify all of that before you get the tattoo. Know what you want, know what you don't want, as well so you can advocate for yourself and and if they present you with an idea that does not look like what you brought in say no it's okay to say no i know you're it might burst your bubble in the moment but just say no it's okay and just be ready to sit in pain for a few hours because <laughs> it hurts even the parts that they say don't hurt it still hurts just imagine someone scraping your skin with a needle for more than 20 minutes. Can you even do a minute? It's tough, it's tough pain, but it's obviously pain that I love and enjoy and plan on getting. Uh, if you have any questions about my tattoos, drop them in the comments. I'm more than open to discussing them. If you have questions about Papatui, if you work at Papatui and wanna work together with me, call me. Thank you for watching. I definitely will be getting more tattoos. I'm saving. I'm thinking about what I want. I'm doing research, but stay tuned for that. Thank you for watching. I appreciate you all. Hit that subscribe or follow button. Tell a friend, tell a friend, tell a friend, and I'm out.